So what's happening YouTube, it's your boy Textrix. Back in our video today, we're looking at the Zion WeBuild 3S. This is the updated version. You know, for those of you who are wondering because you wanted to get the WeBuild 3 before and you have little uh, kind of quirks that you wanted to fix, this thing pretty much fixed it all. So here we go. First things first, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check that out. It is an affiliate link, so it does help out the channel a lot if you get it from here. So here we go. Uh, pretty much this is our brand new camera with a cinema, cinema lens right here. And pretty much this has the original thing right there, little arm adjustable arm with the wrist brace right there so that when you are holding it like so it will touch that right there of course this gets pretty heavy over time this will support it more and then you're freely to use the buttons over here to shoot this is really nice when you're shooting weddings and whatnot because you won't get tired so easily so it's very nice as well that it is balanced from up here so if you want to shoot with that you'll be able to do that as well very nice just one finger right there and you're good to go now this is a pretty heavy lens as well uh, with the body that is mid-tier on the on the weight there but it does work really well as you can see there now if you want to charge the gimbal, there's a USB-C on this side right here. Also if you're putting away the gimbal, there are lock sliders. One on each side of the three axes here on the gimbal. So on the old WeBuild 3, it has the arm, the adjustable arm right here and the wrist rest right here. Now they've improved both of that so that um, it's easy to take off. So pretty much when you unlock this Right here, you'll be able to slide off your gimbal like so There's a button right there to completely release it and you're off you go And that's it So it's really handy to have if you don't need that uh, wrist wrist bottom there be able to just take your gimbal like so and make it a smaller gimbal for a run-and-gun show that is really handy and then of course if you want it back you just have to push it back in like so hit the lock button right there and you're done these are still adjustable um, if you just loosen this like so You'll be able to adjust this back and forth like so on this side this is uh, has a shock proof right there which is adjustable on here as you can see there, you can adjust it up and down if you want. There you go. And then on top of the handle, if you want to mount a monitor, you could do that as well right here with this traditional tripod mount right there. Now there are a few lock uh, areas here, like this guy right here would lock the slider right here. Uh, this guy will lock in place. Uh, how far left and right you are but the good addition here as well is you can use this for portrait by using this slider right here here as you can see you'll be able to shoot in portrait mode as well by using this bracket right here built in slot right there and your whole setup you're just putting it on to here pretty easy and you're ready to go your your light's still accessible right there it also comes with the bag like so this bottom part right here has a compartment that you can open with a zipper and then this whole top pretty much fits the gimbal in there plus the camera if you want to keep it on there for easy access it is also a shoulder bag that you can see here you can use it as a shoulder bag or a backpack as well kind of like gara from naruto now with my experience here with this gimbal with the rebuild 3s it does feel uh, much better than the older ones now the Weibo 3 I didn't have much complaints with it I actually like the design of it because it's very different that wrist uh, rest is really handy to have 
um, I'd recommend people trying it out because um, it is a little bit restrictive at some points, but you can always use the uh, handle up there if it's a lower angle. Now it is very useful as well that it comes with an easy take off now on the Weibo 3S, which is really awesome to have. You can also use this for uh, vlogging if you want to. You'll be able to click the trigger three times and it'll face you, which is very handy to have for those who are um, vlogging enthusiasts and you want that uh, three axis gimbal still. And then you can use the uh, top handle as well to hold it in different spots here. Put it away if you want, put it on the side as well if you if you prefer that for the monitor as well. So as you can see here, it has a screen up there which you can change. There's two buttons on this side right there. Power button and menu button right there. It also has a slider here for, uh, it's like a dial for controlling the menu system here and also if you long press it, it will turn on the built-in light on the gimbal. So as you can see, you can click menu here and then you can scroll around right there on what you want to change. It does come with an analog stick here as well for controlling your gimbal up, down, left and right as you can see there. Great addition for sure. If you want those uh, moves, there's also the record button right there if you want to control your camera from here, which is re very handy to have. You don't want to be pressing and ruining your balance up there. So everything will be controlled down here via Bluetooth. Then there's the manual button as well if you want to use that. The back of this as well also has this button, this trigger right here, which you Pretty much if you double click, this will reset the position of your gimbal to what it was, what you set it to. And then if you triple click it, it'll go to selfie mode. That's really cool. Here as well, it has this dial right here, which is very handy to have. You can customize it to whatever you want, but right now what we have it um, controlling is this little focus ring uh, for focus motor up here so pretty much as you could see there this will turn the focus motor up there very handy to have especially if you have a cine lens you can control the focus while you're shooting now for those of you who doesn't have a cine lens it does come with this this is the one you will put on any lens so that you'll be able to have a couple of sizes here one bigger lens and smaller lens right there pretty much you use these around a lens so that this little gear right here will be able to control the focus of the lens now again this light this button the slider on the side right here if you long press it this will turn on the light right there, as you could see. You could change the brightness of that by changing the dial right there. And at the same time, you can click it and change the temperature of your light. Cool up to warm. Really nice. To turn it off, you just need to hold it and that will turn that off as well. So now this is a test for the Zion Weibo 3S. And pretty much if you are vlogging like this, you know, it's just normal camera tripod, but as soon as you do this, woo, we'll be able to focus and follow you as you go. Which is really awesome, kind of like effect if you have it uh, using for YouTube. Now there is this handle as well that you can hold right here, even on pro portrait mode there. Really nice. We're gonna do a test going up the stairs as well, just walking around here. I'm not even really uh, trying that hard because of the, show, uh, the, the wrist strap right here. I'm able to uh, keep my hand in place there without any problem at all. 
it doesn't get sore or anything like that pretty nice then also you can adjust that like so okay let's go upstairs now Now let's go downstairs. I'm going to show you guys a little special, a little update on what's going on right now with uh, the YouTube channel. Because right now, um, you know, as you could see, our background changed a little bit because we're doing a little bit of a renovation. So here's a sneak peek of it. As you could see, we're going through a little bit of renovation. Um, this is the basement right now. This is kind of like the uh, mechanical room right there. This is going to be a bedroom. Let's go in here. As you could see, nice big room with the closet right here here we go coming out of here um, we go through the storage room kind of area right here then this is the uh, future living room right here pretty nice Go around this way and then this guy right here uh, i plan to do like a kitchen area right here cabinets maybe a fridge down on this side fridge on this side right here um let's say a sink right in the middle ish and then a few cabinets and even the top cabinets as well really nice right here it's going to be a washroom coming in through this door gonna be a washroom vanity over here probably notice right there uh, toilet right about here have to take off all the um, outlets there for the drainage and then the tub will go through on this side right here and that's it it's gonna be tiled um, Later on, it's gonna be beautiful. I'll show you a finished product as we go through here. Pretty nice. So just stay tuned on what it looks like in the final finished product. So this is why I've been pretty busy lately. So if those of you are wondering, I don't upload as much. This is what I've been doing. So um, this is, and then when you go through this door, this is a really cool one. I think this is a special one for me. As a closet over here for storage and this is pretty much where i'm gonna put all my uh, unboxings uh, products that i get this area is gonna be my workout room slash uh, youtube room so pretty much i plan to put a kind of like a table right here on this corner and then a workout station maybe uh, either on this side right here or on uh, right by the door right there or maybe over here depends on how it's going to look how it's going to fit but this is pretty much where i'm going to shoot uh, maybe another spot for um, recording and stuff um, another spot for editing as well it's all going to be in this room thanks for watching everyone i hope i was able to help you on your choice on a brand new gimbal three axis gimbal for uh, shooting weddings and your creative if you want to shoot like real estate you could do that with this as well uh, this is the webill 3s by zion if you want to get one of these i'll link this down below make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the like button and i'll see you guys next time peace